In this video, we're going to focus on the Zoom mode option in the Chart.js plugin for Zoom. And what we have created previously in the previous video was a drag option here. We enabled this, however, you might notice that it has some uh, unappealing effects or side effects is, is that we are zooming in both ways. We're zooming in on a horizontal way, but also in a vertical way. So if we are here zooming in, this would not make any sense at all. And if we do this again, you see here, we get this, or if we are in the white space here, we don't want this. What we really want to do is we want to zoom in basically on the this lower part here. This becomes more important. And if you zoom like this, you can see here, we're also increasing or going down uh, more below which doesn't make sense as well because we only want this value here that follows the line so how can we do this well with the zoom mode you can control the options the only thing that we have to do here is we have to activate the mode and basically as you can see in here in the mode x y and x y so we are allowed to zoom which directions but with the zoom most likely you will only want to have the x scale zoom part which which means the horizontal zooming functionality so let's start to do that immediately so we put in here the zoom mode and by default it is x and y so we're going to put in here x for the horizontal version so once we do this and we make sure we save that go back to our chart refresh the chart and now if we zoom as you can see it starts to look far more better and what's also very nice is that the the selection as you can see goes from top to bottom and this is a far more functional way to do it and this makes more sense to it but with this you can make sure that your zoom with the drag works accordingly thank you for watching this video and i hope you enjoy it and if you enjoy this video you probably will enjoy this one as well and if you're interested in chart yes check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.